she said, I made a report saying that these are two of my students, Elizabeth and Sydney. They're going to talk to you about their experiences as we go along. Okay, as we began, our object objective was to develop problem-solving skills by conducting interviews to find out about people's, everyday people's, everyday struggles. And so um, what they would do is they would take the information that they gathered for, through their interviews and then they would come up with some type of either invention or an enhancement to a product that we could print with a 3D printer that would help solve their, their daily issues. Um, so they began by doing research, conducting these interviews. We got together as a class and came up with a little form, just have four questions on it. And we chose three different age ranges and each student had to do two interviews per age category so that they could get a broad spectrum of problems and once well I'll do that one. so this these were the questions okay so we had to ask four questions our first question was the issues that trouble us daily the second question was, can you think of a solution to the problem? The third one is, have you ever used a product that did not work for you? For what reason did it fail you? The fourth one is, could it be modified to better suit you? What, modif what modifications could make it better? During this issue, the, these interviews, me and my partner, we asked many different teachers and students about some troubles they had and they gave us our answers and we created our design. So once they completed their interviews, they got to choose a partner and they partnered together and took that information. They discussed the results of their interviews and they started brainstorming about what they could create. And once they chose their focus then they got with another group who made suggestions on how to improve the the product or uh, invention whatever they were creating so they did sketches some designs and uh, kind of just went from there i think i got a little ahead of myself but they worked together and then they got back away from each other as pairs again and continue to brainstorm and, and tweak their designs. And after we would sketch our things, we would craft them in modeling clay and would team up again for more modifications. And once they were created, completed, we would then take a life-size drawing that was created on graph paper from every point of view. Now is where, this is where like everything kind of fell apart for a little while. Um, we had the printer. The printer took all of our money. We did get two large rolls. It looked like a weed eater string and I accidentally when I was ordering it ordered the bright green color and I was really disappointed because I didn't realize that I had done that but anyway it was okay um, so once we got the the printer I called the company to see what we could do because we had our drawings you know all the students had made their designs but we needed them to be three-dimensional. And I, myself, did not have a lot of experience with that. So I called the company and found out that they had um, software online that you could download to your computer. And after talking to our tech people, I found out that my computer was a little um, old, you know, to, to get the new stuff on it. So I had just bought a laptop not too long ago. So I brought my own personal laptop. And we got a trial version of the program. 
and the program was called Sculpt, and this, that's Sydney working on the program. And but the, the issue was, you know, it only lasted for so many days, and it was supposed to be 30 days, but then I would log on to my computer and it would say you have five days left, and that was the first day. <laughs> so we had very few days to actually, I know I probably could have called the company, but I didn't, you know, there were so many other things going on that I had, I just had to work with it. So it took a lot of trial and error. We didn't have a lot of time, but we, we finally figured out how to use the program Sculpt. And um, I'm gonna show you some examples of what we did. I'm going to show you the, the uh, actual first print, just a few seconds of it, but this is our first print. It's not as exciting without the sound. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty loud. But you can see that there are strings everywhere and that is not supposed to happen. That's just, I don't know why that was back there. Okay, so we finally, we were successful, but I want you to see the unsuccessful. This is number one. The problem was we were printing up. And so basically what it does is it builds layers. So it goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Well, when it would get to, to this part, it would start to fall apart because it didn't have anything to latch on to. So it was just, it turned into strings. The second one was a design flaw. <laughs> <laughs> so. And then the third one we printed like this. Again, once it got to the hook part, it had nothing to latch on to. So it, until it got to where it was printing straight across from here and it could build, we got string. So we finally figured out that if we removed one of these, instead of making it a four-way, we made it a three-way and printed it up like, no, 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 we had to do it like this. So it built up on even the part that comes out, it was still building. So it was able to go back and forth and build. And what this design actually is, our teachers had uh, trouble hanging stuff from their ceilings. So we put magnets on the design, that way it would stick to the metal on the roofing and we could hook stuff on it. So this is our successful print and our successful result. And these are some sculptures that my students made hanging on our hooks in my classroom. So in the future, what we hope to do is we want to get the software. We're getting a brand new school and we get brand new computers. So there's no reason for me to do this now because I would have to wipe my computer clean and then install it and then do it again next year. So we're going to wait until the school year starts at with, with the program. And then we, we may even, we may do new designs. We had um, many different examples. So, uh, I had some students create a handle for a pop can that we could print. Uh, some students made a motorcycle toy, a cell phone stand with a cord stabilizer so that the cord doesn't wiggle and wear out. And we had some interchangeable scissors. So we may try to, to do that in the future or we may come up with brand new designs. But we can continue to do this in the future. Hope to continue to do this also. Does anyone have any questions? $50 a roll. Oh, I still have plenty left. <laughs>